Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at Karen calls the cop on my cousin so we get our revenge. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. My cousin recently opened up her own salon. From a young age, she taught herself how to thread wax eyebrows and developed an interest in makeup and hair. Everyone in our extended family would go to her before events on a monthly basis for their threading, waxing, hair and makeup needs. In 2020, she had a full-time job, non-salon related, but decided to renovate the basement of her home to create a small salon space. She now spends her free time taking clients in at home salon and there's nothing but great reviews. Her sister helped with renovations and now helps her with marketing the business, social media community pages, and I help with the finances, budgeting, price setting. We all support her and are really proud of her. The salon is our baby. We're now in the middle of a pandemic and this greatly affected her salon business. As a result, she implemented safety measures and our small team made sure to keep up with COVID regulations in our city. This included having one customer inside at a time, doing temperature checks, making masks, face shields and gloves mandatory, wiping down the salon after each client, etc. Also, when our city was in lockdown, the salon was closed as it is not an essential service. Incident. Our city is once again in lockdown since the end of December to the end of January. The salon has been closed since the lockdown began. The salon's social media pages had been updated to let the current clients know that the salon is closed. Now comes the Karen. Karen sees a community post from October detailing a discount that the salon was having a certain package we offer. She comments on the post saying that she can't believe the salon is open in the middle of a lockdown when her salon has to be closed. This is important for later. Karen fails to notice that this post was made in October when salons were allowed to operate as long as they followed safety regulations. Karen doesn't bother checking more recent posts indicating that the salon was closed. My cousin doesn't see her reply at this time. The next day, two police officers show up at my cousin's door while she's at a doctor's appointment. The officers ask my cousin and my aunt let them know that she's not home right now. My aunt does not speak English very well and let the officers know that she would call my cousin and ask her to come home. Maybe the officers didn't believe her, but they insisted on coming inside the home. My aunt had already called my cousin as she was worried. My cousin asked what it was about, but my aunt didn't know. My cousin then asked if they had a warrant for anything. When she found out they didn't, she told her mom not to let them come inside and that she would be there in about 20 minutes. Really, they just barged in without a warrant? My cousin began driving home when my aunt called her to let her know that they simply left. Hearing this, my cousin was less worried and decided to go grocery shopping as planned before heading home. Turns out the officers came back half an hour later and once again demanded to see my cousin. My aunt called my cousin again and asked her to come home but in the 20 minutes she took to come home, the officers were gone. They had left a card and asked her to call back. My cousin managed to get a hold of the officers and was told that someone had reported her business. They claimed that she was operating during the lockdown and they had proof. My cousin knew this wasn't true as the salon had been closed for quite a while. By now, my cousin had seen the comment from earlier and mentioned that she knew exactly what the so-called proof was, but the post in question was from October. My cousin was very upset as this post was not even close to being actual evidence of her operating now in January. She was very upset that they insisted on coming inside the house with no cause or warrant when they could clearly see that my aunt does not understand the language very well. At the end of the conversation, the police officer apologized to my cousin and we thought that was the end of it. You must be wondering how we know that Karen was the one who called the cops. Well, she told us. <laughs> the next day, my cousin received a message she realized was from the woman who commented on the post. Karen decided to pretend like she's a customer. Karen, can I book an appointment? My cousin, hey love, we are currently closed due to the lockdown. Once the lockdown is over, we will be more than happy to book you in. Karen, oh my girlfriend was there yesterday, my apologies. My cousin, you must have gotten the date wrong. The salon is not taking clients until the lockdown is over. Thank you. Karen, no problem, but I didn't get the date wrong. I also know the police came due to you being open. Take care. 
My cousin, I'm not going to sit here and entertain your boring life. Maybe for a change, you can find another hobby rather than spreading lies and wasting people's time, including the police's time. Or even better, find an actual job. Have a good night. <laughs> tell her. Yeah, tell her. Seriously, why are people like this? Karen, I own my own spa that's closed as should be yours. My mom is the one who called the cops. You are not entertaining me at all. My cousin decided to block her at this point. My cousin was happy this was all over. Her sister and I were still outraged how someone could make up lies about a small business that led to the cops terrifying my aunt. When my cousin told me about Karen, the fact that she had her own spa really stood out. I did some digging. Turns out Karen runs her own spa out of her house. Doing some more snooping, I found reviews from her clients on her business page that were posted on days that the city was under lockdown. The reviews could be from clients who received services before the lockdown and only now had a chance to write a review. To be sure, I found Karen's Instagram page. I decided to use her own trick against her. I created a new account with a generic name and followed her page so she couldn't see that I was related to my cousin. I then messaged her to ask about the prices for her services. Me, hey, I love your pics. I was wondering how much you charge. Karen, hey girl, thank you so much. What service are you after? Me, I'm really interested in the BB Glow Facial. Karen, that's awesome. My biggest seller for sure. Normally it's 125 but it's on BOGO. What does that mean? So you pay for one session and get two. I don't know what any of these mean. Me, that's such a great deal compared to others. When is your next available date, Taryn? Where are you located? I can't have people come to me in lockdown, but I travel to my clients. Karen was not operating from her home location due to lockdown restrictions, but was traveling to her clients' homes, which is still against regulations. I then made up a lie about my home not having adequate space and asked for her address so we could meet up at my friend's place somewhere between her and I's locations. She foolishly told me her address. During this time, I also tried joining other community groups that she was a part of. In one particular group, people in the community were promoting their small businesses. She had recently made a post about discounts on her services for the month of January. I immediately went online and submitted a report about her business still operating, including screenshots, her address, full name, etc. Yes, that's what she gets. She deserved that anyways because she was breaking the law. A few days passed by and I had forgotten to check up on it as I was busy with life again. I saw the incident report number on a sticky note I had on my desk and decided to check in. Apparently, this was not Karen's first offence. Karen had already been fined $750 for having a client in her home during the first lockdown in my city. After being fined, she decided to change her business model and go to the client's home instead. Now, she was fined $10,000. <laughs> this is what you get for being selfish. I was still following her on Instagram, so I decided to check it out. She had gone on a rant about how she was going to do very bad things to the person who reported her. She also mentioned that she was no longer allowed to run her business. I'm not sure what type of ban the regional police put on her, but I immediately deleted the account and exited the groups I had joined earlier. At the end of the day, Karen got what she deserved. Yeah, she did. And it's not even really a revenge, it's just, you know what was supposed to happen. She was not supposed to operate her business, but she still did. And she was so petty trying to put someone else's business down in order to like push hers up. And the person that she reported was not even breaking the law. They stopped operating already. But her greedy heart decided to report to the police without even checking anything at all. Jeez, that's what Karen gets, honestly. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.